Now we're going to solve a non-quadratic equation with quadratic methods. Because as you'll see, we're going to turn this quartic equation into a quadratic equation temporarily. Notice, if you will, that 4 is 2 times 2. Why is that profound? Why does it relate? Well, it just so happens when your exponents have this relationship, we call it a quadratic-like equation because it's like a quadratic equation. As you'll see, we're going to use a very old process called u-substitution. We let u equal the middle term x squared. Then u squared will equal x squared squared. Because u is x squared, u squared is x squared squared. That is so hard to say. But that gives us x to the fourth, so we can actually write the following quadratic equation based on our original equation. u squared minus 13u plus 36 equals 0. And so we write it again, and we're going to solve this. You can solve this one by factoring, and that's the way I did it. But you can use the quadratic formula. You can even use completing the square, whatever method you like the best. I factored this into u minus 9 times u minus 4. Set equals 0. And then I separately set each factor equal to 0. If u minus 9 equals 0, then u equals 9. If u minus 4 equals 0, then u equals 4. Now I have to re-substitute the letter that was used in the original equation. After all, u equals x squared, so I re-substitute x squared in for the u. Then to isolate x, I take the square root of both sides, and I take the plus or minus square root of the constant. So, on the left, I get x equals plus or minus 3. And on the right, I get x equals plus or minus 2. So it ends up there are four solutions to this quartic equation, which is entirely appropriate. If the highest power is 4, I'll have four solutions. These solutions are negative 3, negative 2, 2, and 3.